Now in this video, we'll see how to connect MySQL with your OpenShift server. So for that, what we need is first we have to enable your MySQL in your server. So to do that, just open your application, which is demo ready.rhcloud.com And in this, you have only one gear running, which is JBoss application server. So you can see we only have one gear. Now, in order to work with MySQL, you just have to click add MySQL 5.5 to your server. So once you click on add, it will ask you for the, uh, okay, you want to add the cartridge. Okay, we have to say add cartridge. And then it will add MySQL support to your server. While it's happening, now go back to your app, go back to your uh, Eclipse. In this, we'll change the same page, which is calc.js. We will we'll keep that page. Let's create a new page in which we'll, we'll try to access the database. So we'll say right click new, We'll name this JSP page as uh, demo, say demo db. Okay, this is demo db.jsp. Let's verify it's working. Okay, so it's a, it has added MySQL support to your server. So that's your username, which is a uh, root username. That's your root password, and that's your database name, which is demo. And to change that database, first you have to add some values, right? Again, and this is your connection URL. So we'll talk about this later. This dollar, this is an environment variable on your server. So this is already set. We can get this value. So for the port number, as you know, the default port number for MySQL is 3306. And we need to specify the IP address of the server here. Uh, it is already set on the server side, but we can, uh, you know, we can manually set the value and that's your connection string there uh, one more thing we need to change this database either we have to connect your database with terminal or we can add a php my admin just to control your database using a gui so we'll do that also so we'll add this cartridge for handling your database or to make those changes in your database to create tables and all those things and we'll name that, that database uh, or the name We'll, name, we'll, we'll create a new table called as student in which you'll be having two columns, uh, roll number and name. So once the cartridge is added, okay, it will take some time. By the time we'll go back to Eclipse. And here what we'll do is we'll create a code to access database. Now, whenever you want to access a database, you, you have to follow some steps. The first step is you require a MySQL. You require a MySQL connector, right? Now, since we are working with Maven, so I hope you know Maven. If you, have no, if you don't know Maven, just go back to my previous video or the, the video for the Maven tutorial. And you'll understand how to add a MySQL connector if you are using OpenShift and Maven. So in Maven, you have to change this POM file. You have to add one more dependency. And this time, the dependency will be for MySQL. So for that, just go back to your Chrome and here search for MySQL connector, uh, what? MySQL connector Maven. So we have to go for the Maven repository. We'll require 1.5.1.34 will do. Just copy this code here, which is a dependency and paste it in your POM file. And you can see it will download the required jar files. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the jar file there. It will automatically download that jar file. But here, uh, we need to f do something. We need to connect to your database. So we have to say class dot for name. So I hope you remember the steps of JDBC. It is com dot mysql dot JDBC dot drivers. That's what that was the first step. Next, we have to create a connection. So we'll say connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection and here you have to mention three things so the first is the url the second thing is the username and password uh, so for that what we'll do is we'll create three string uh, three strings here so we'll say string url for the database and you can get this url from your oh i for, yeah so this is my username here well done. Okay, I forgot to copy that code. 
for MySQL. So no issue, I will just copy this username. So first we'll take a username. So we'll say this is your username which is, okay that's not URL, that's a username. And we'll keep this in double quotes. Then we have to say string which is a password, oh, which is the password here and you can copy this password from here on this side okay and we'll just copy this code and paste it here so now we have a username and password we also need a url and you can get the url from so you have to just say double quotes here you have to mention jdbc colon mysql colon double slash and then you have to mention the ip address of your server so from where you will get the IP address, just go to this PHP MyAdmin. So you can just copy this URL and paste it here. It will take some time to load. It will first ask you for the username, which is this. So just copy the username and paste. Login. So now once you got the login inside your PHP MyAdmin, now you can create a table. Now how to create a table? Just Save the password here. Yeah. Now this is your database which is demo. Uh, to create a table, we can just enter the table name here. We'll say the table name is student with the number of columns, which is two. We'll say go. It will ask you for the column name. We'll say the first column is roll number, which will be of type int. We'll specify the length as 11, uh, nothing else. In this, we'll mention the student name, which is S name, and the type of S name will be varchar. We'll say this is uh, size will be 20. Nothing more to add. Just click on save. Now you've got a table with blank data. So let's add some data here. We'll click on the browse and do we have option of adding values? Okay, so let's say insert. Uh, what? What's that? You can insert a new row, yes. So let's insert the first row which is row, row number one. Name will be Navin and click on go. Now we got first value. Okay, click, click on browse, you can see we have one value, let's insert one more value here. We'll say two, okay. let's say two, and we'll name this as uh, Rahul and click on go. So now we have two rows, so if you click on the browse, so we can see we have two, uh, two rows. Now what we'll do is we'll write a code to fetch these values, okay. Uh, we, we also want the IP address, right, so just click on home in the MySQL and that's your database server IP address. So we can just copy this code from here or the IP address from here, just paste it and say the port number, you have to mention, also mention the port number which is 3306 which is default port number for MySQL. So once you got the URL instead of this double quotes, just paste URL, here you have to mention uh, username and here you have to mention the password. Simple. Now once you have set all these values, we need to also import the package. We say control space. Uh, we want the package from Java dot, okay, not this package. We want it from Java dot SQL dot connection. And we, since we want lots of classes, we'll say start. Now next we have to create a statement object. We'll say statement st equal to con dot create statement and here we can mention nothing we can mention something anything here uh, we want then the next step is we have to execute the query so we'll say result set since we want some values from the database we'll say result set rs equal to st dot what st dot execute query and here you have to mention the query we'll say select star from student where Roll number is equal to 1. So we'll go for the static value for 1 or maybe 2. So I want the name Rahul to be printed. So we'll simply say rs.next or if we'll check in if rs.next if we have a next value what we can simply do is we'll say out.println we'll print something here. We'll print string the second, col second column else we'll print We'll print no values, uh, no value. 
Simple, right? So we have created a database application and that's it. Now if you run this application, you should get a value which is Rahul or you will get an error if I made a mistake. Uh, so once once we are done with the uh, all this thing, let's we have to, again we have to commit. So we'll say team and we have to say commit. Uh, we'll, we'll say we'll, we'll say database. Okay, so before committing, we have to also mention the database name, which is demo, which we forgot. And let's again commit this part. So we'll say team commit. Okay, database. We'll say push, commit and push. It will take some time. Okay, once we have forwarded the things and let's click on OK. Okay, now let's go back to your server and let's try to run this. We'll say demo db.jsp and yes, and we got the output as Rahul. So that's how you can connect your MySQL with your uh, uh, your OpenShift server. So that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for, for the videos.